Hey loves, welcome back to the Gainer Midden YouTube channel. Today we have some very exciting shoe news for all of you. You heard it here first. I also have a very fabulous special guest with me, our products director, Megan Gulla. Hello. Before we jump in, make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Scroll down, find the red subscribe button, click that, and then scroll back up. So I said that we had very exciting shoe news and I was 100% not lying. I am <laughs> super excited to announce to you guys the introduction of the 3 Plus box. Now, personally, this is huge because I am a 3 Plus box. Um, Same. As is Megan, and I will speak for myself, I have never been fully comfortable either in the 3 or in the 4 me either. Um, when I tried the shoes on. And so having a shoe that I know would work for me mm -hmm. is really amazing and we have both been pushing for this for a long time. And after much research and development and testing um, Megan and her team do an amazing <laughs> job testing our products. Uh, we finally have a product to launch to you guys. How do you know if you need the 3 plus box? Such an excellent question. Uh, we have five ways that you can know mm -hmm. if you should try the 3 plus box. The first indicator that the 3 plus could be for you is if the 3 box feels too squishy, too narrow, mm. the platform feels too small, you're very unstable, but then when you try the four box, you feel like you sink. The second indicator is if you are in the three box and you might be comfortable in the three box, mm -hmm. like it might fit well, it might look good, but you feel like you want a more stable platform. Yeah, you try it on and you, you just can't really find your, your happy place. Yeah. The third indicator is if you are currently wearing Gainer Mindens in a narrow four box combination. Mm -hmm. And I know there are a lot of you because I fit a lot of you. Absolutely. <laughs> so if you're in the sculpted narrow four, this, I mean, any of the narrow four combinations really, it's yeah. basically because uh, you're trying to get the broader platform and the more stable platform at the front, but you still need to be held. Yeah. So you're going for that narrower shoe mm -hmm. to kind of try to hold you here at the top. Right. Um, and then also sometimes padding up the box as well to fill out the extra space. Yeah, I just went down the list of uh, dancers I knew who wore narrow four sleeks when I was looking for <laughs> three plus testers. And again, they transitioned uh, quite quickly into the three plus. Excellent. And then on the flip side of that, and our fourth way to know if you should try the three plus box, mm -hmm. and this was me personally, is if you're in a wide three combination. Mm -hmm. So you're in the wide shoe looking to get more width at the metatarsal area, but then you still have tapered toes. So if you have like the longer second toe mm -hmm. um, or the longer first toe, like any toe configuration that is not square yep. um, with the wide, that's a really great time to try the three plus box. Our last and fifth uh, indicator, way to know, <laughs> is if you're transitioning from paste shoes, those are the dancers that I find that put on the three box and it fits well, but they're used to a more uh, a stable platform, a wider platform. Right, and they just try it on and they they look at you a little quizzically like this yeah. is this is comfortable because it's a Gainer Minden but I don't feel as stable as I want and it is a very different story when they're trying on the 3 plus for the very first time um, yeah. it just feels like what they know um, except it is more comfortable and um, they really just fall in love with that shoe immediately. Our next two sections are going to be for my Gator Minden wearers that are looking to try the 3 Plus box and some things to keep in mind when switching from the 3 to the 3 Plus or from the 4 to the 3 Plus. Yeah. So we'll start with the 3 box and we have, I think it's four things mm -hmm. to keep in mind. So the first thing, um, if you're switching from the 3 to the 3, the three Plus, mm -hmm. has to do with your length. Mm -hmm. And that is that your length can stay the same. Yep. So if you're in a sculpted 8 medium 3, you yep. can order a sculpted 8 medium 3 plus. Super easy. Mm -hmm. The next thing, which I find really interesting, is that dancers often switched into a softer shank when moving from the 3 to the 3 plus box. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and if you are actually in a 3 box in a hard shank, mm -hmm. um, that is a very good indicator that you're actually a 3 plus. Um, because you are really just, if you're in the 3 box and you're in a hard shank, that tells me that you're really counting on the shank to support you um, and you're not really getting into the box as much as you should. So you're putting more 
pressure on the shank than you really need to. And if you've ever seen the cut shoes, you'll notice that the shanks are three-quartered and they're pre-arched and they're tapered towards mm -hmm. the back. So if you're putting more weight at the back of the shoe here, you're putting weight where it's weakest mm -hmm. and where it's least supportive. And the same goes for our boxes, for the actual insert on the box. It actually, the material thins out as it get to, gets towards the box opening. Absolutely. To make it easier to work through and to mm -hmm. roll through. And so basically what happens there is if you're not in the box properly, then you are literally relying on the weakest part of the shoe mm -hmm. to give you strength. Right. When we had people transition from a three to a three plus, mm -hmm. um, and they were finally sitting in the box correctly, and the shank was hitting them properly in their arch, um, they were actually, in some cases, able to go from a hard to a penisimo to our Whoa. purple bag. Yeah, it was very surprising. Guys, that's spanning five shanks. Like <laughs> yeah. that is literally going from our hardest shank to our softest shank, yes. and still feeling supported. Still feeling supported and preferring that. I would say, are you sure? This is a very big change. Uh, why don't you try on a feather or a supple? and they would prefer the softest. Um, I'm not saying that will happen to everyone. Right, um, but like be prepared to go a little bit softer and yeah. maybe when you order, maybe just go ahead and try just one step down. Absolutely. So from hard to extra flex yeah. could be a safe move. Mm -hmm. And then you'll benefit from the extra roll through. The next thing has to do with the model. Mm -hmm. So, and specifically the sleek fit model. So if you are currently in a sleek three box mm -hmm. and you want to try the three plus, we recommend moving to the sculpted fit. Yeah, um, you're going from a very sleek shoe overall in the three box, and when you're transitioning into the three plus, uh, the rest of the shoe would be sleek, but then you're putting a larger box on it. Um, so most people found that the sculpted fit, which is a little bit wider right here at your metatarsal area, it was just a transition. smoother transition, uh, more comfortable overall, um, and you're but you also get the added support that the Sculpted Fit provides. And then the last thing is uh, to do with your width. We found that width kind of stayed the same. Mm -hmm. So people weren't making massive changes to the width of their shoe. A quick reminder, at Gatorman Inn, we differentiate between the width of the shoe being narrow, medium, and wide, and referring to kind of this part of the foot back, yeah. and the shape of the box, which is like if you push the shoe in, like that's the shape of the box, and that's the three, three plus, four. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna talk about if you're in a Gatorman Inn four box, and you're wanting to talk, try the three plus box, some things to keep in mind. Um, and the first thing is that the length of your shoe will probably not change mm -hmm. unless you're in a super tight four box. With Gainer Mendens, you wanna fit with a quarter of an inch pinch at the drawstring casing, which is up here, reminder, not down here, <laughs> up here, um, when you're on point. So if you have that in the four box, I would say leave your length the same. Mm -hmm. Um, the next thing is uh, about the shank. So unlike the three box, when we found that dancers were going softer switching to the three plus, um, I think you found that dancers switching from the four to the three plus actually stayed in the same shank. Yeah. Or were happy in the same shank. Yeah, we had a couple people go softer, but um, they were people who were newer to Gainer Minden. Um, probably people who were transitioning in were maybe our first guests was it uh, was a little too stiff for them yeah. um, as they got to work in the shoe. But if you've really been wearing a four box for a long time, um, you're already sitting in the shoe correctly, you're in the right shank for you, and that's gonna stay the same in the three plus. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last thing is regarding the width, which I found really interesting, and that is that um, depending on what you're wearing inside the four box, you may be able to go narrower in mm -hmm. the width. So from a wide to a medium, or from a medium to a narrow, once you from the three, from the four to the three plus. Yeah, a lot of people had excess padding, uh, just trying to make the four box work for them because mm -hmm. um, they really were a three plus. And so right, when they were like, I would wear like the ouch pouch in your large that comes up, you know, around your metatarsals yeah. and stuff like that could fit in the four box for me. Exactly. So when you're taking that out and because that comes up higher here and you go into the three plus box, um, that's where your width is is really starting um, and that's why you can go narrower and because your shoe is fitting better because the shape of the box here actually fits your foot better dancers are often more comfortable with less or no padding which then of course mm -hmm. indicates the need to have a wider shoe yeah so we've told you what the three plus box is and now you want to know how to get it yep and we're gonna tell you so your local <laughs> store should have the three plus box uh, I think we started shipping to our stores a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. some of you may have tried it 
on at a store already. Um, if you're not sure what your local authorized uh, retailer is or who they are, how can you find out? The store locator on dancer.com. The store locator on our website. <laughs> who knew? Thank you so much, Megan. And to use that, you just want to enter in your country and your city and your state, and it will show you the local stores in your area. The 3 Plus box is also available on our own website on dancer.com, so you can also order it directly from us there online um, if that's easier for you or if you don't have a local authorized store. So thank you so much for watching. We hope you're excited about the 3 Plus box because we are beyond excited <laughs> to be bringing this into the world. Finally, 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 <laughs> finally. Um, if you have any questions about the 3 Plus box, leave them below and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. You can also email us at fitters at dancer.com. You can reach out on Instagram, on Facebook, on WhatsApp. You can call us on the phone like old school style. Mm -hmm. um, um, and uh, we're happy to help as much as we can. So we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.